So we're here at Mr. Fence, Evansville, Indiana today, and we're going to give you a tour and talk with Mr. Fence himself, meet some of his crew, and he's going to show you how a real fence company gets it done. Yeah. And that is Mr. Fence. We're going to show you that we For go through the same that... trials and tribulations everybody else does every day. He's got it all figured out. Don't no, let him fool you. <laughs> Not even close. Fresh and uh, if you don't know who Mr. Fence is yet, then you're hidden under a rock somewhere. <laughs> hey, Kate has something he'd like to tell you. Go ahead, tell him. What? Tell him what you told me. Oh, yeah, that black truck, it's quality, except for it's a Ford. Oh. Yeah, he's like, hey, that's a quality truck. You want to see a, a you want to see a quality Chevy truck? I have a gym here. Quality Chevy truck. So there's two four-wheel drive units in here. You got a stock transfer case to a divorce transfer case with a short drive shaft. So when you go four low in the truck. It goes to another drive shaft, you put that in four low, now you've got a four low on top of four low. What that means is when you put it in drive, the brakes will stop the truck. And, and idle, it'll just keep moving. You can't yeah. stop it. I'm Mark Olson. Luke Gibson and I have a combined 50 years in construction as fence contractors. In that time, we've both experienced failures and success. We travel the country talking with other contractors who share their experiences in hopes that their stories can make you a more successful contractor. And you guys actually make a lot of their, uh, so we, some of their kits and stuff We like make that. our own gates here and route all of our posts here. And we route all of our aluminum posts here as well. Um, and then even customize six foot tall aluminum fence to five foot tall. So that's that's our aluminum router and our vinyl router. Really just the rough post. You guys don't do a whole lot of chain link here. You're rarely. Wood, wood, aluminum, and So vinyl's number one, aluminum second, then wood, then chain, then chain link. That's how far down the line it is. We don't do much. Residential, occasionally we'll do a large commercial job, but it's a few a year. It's few and far between. You guys are primarily the residential company. Yeah. Yeah. Which is the big difference between us and you. Yeah. We're primarily we're commercial the company. Yeah. We do residential as many as we can get our hands on, but it, as a part of our business, it's less than 25. We just got asked to bid uh, two solar farms here locally. I've never seen that type of footage. I don't even know what to think about it. 132,000 linear feet and 130,000 linear feet mm. on each one here locally. I See, that's the type of stuff I get excited about. <laughs> I'm like, I get really wait, excited about I can that. get into commercial chain link if I do that. If wow. I buy me an Evo machine for that, that's exactly what I said. We'll drive those posts. So I noticed one of the things in your yard is you don't have a ton of space, so organization's key. Organization is key. It's huge. Huge. You see that over and over and over again. What we do with a one acre lot, and that's including all the displays out front. Yeah. So we've got maybe a half acre, three, maybe three eighths of an acre back here. That's all we operate Because some of that probably includes a road too. That, the building, right? So, so the road. And... It takes up a lot of space. So what we got is, this is what we call inventory on this side. So, so we keep all the vinyl uh, and aluminum hardware walk around the corner I'll show you so this is an inventory item we build gates out of red with the rails blink rails this is all of our inventory for aluminum post stock we use this for routing uh, railing uh, like vinyl hand railing as well as our gates and then this is all of our stock gates down through there and then we call this boneyard uh, this is non-inventory material We've always had a boneyard. So that's the leftover material from job sites. Occasionally you're short a section or two and you gotta go to the boneyard and try to find it. And we got a boneyard for vinyl and then this is our boneyard for aluminum. So we try to keep it organized with different styles of fence, different brands and then yep. posts on top. So this is a stock gate from a manufacturer. Yep, it's got pockets those. in there. And this is how we build our gates with a two by three and a half. There's aluminum inside there. And later on, we'll show you how we do that and we can rack them. Well, that's the that's thing. our gate verticals. I really like their, uh, I really like Active Yards gate kits, but you can't rack them. Can't rack them. We've had problems with them sagging too, so. Yeah. But the not, not being able to rack them is a key thing. I'll show you how much we do chain link. We'll go look at the chain link storage for it. <laughs> this is how much, we can't even fork the material in here. So we do have organization in here, right? So all of our bands. This looks a lot like what uh, Glover has down there in Florida. 
Copycat, right? Yep. Nah, that's our sister company, so. Oh, We've figured out methods and there's no sense in reinventing the wheel. All my best ideas are stolen. <laughs> that's it, that's what yep. we got for chain link. And really all those posts and inventory are for driving for vinyl fence. Yeah. So. Which you did your first one first last one. week, right? And we thought we were going to do one today, but it didn't work out. So that's another place where maybe the they can help you out because you can get in there when it's muddy. Look like today a, is what I thought about it. Yeah. It was too muddy, so we, we're going to drive the posts. Homeowner, it's too quick of a decision to throw it on them. They're like, yeah. well, I don't know about this. We're we so we basically yeah, we're basically just telling everybody we'll stand behind it 100. percent And we're going to start selling it that way. Yeah. But these are jobs I sold without that. And we're just telling them that's the way we're going to do it. Three D pickets. We we stop. We're doing low on inventory. But again, we're we're fighting, but. 4x4s, 2x4s, four four, four, cedar, and pressure treated pickets. This is the concrete that we have made. Uh, it doesn't have pea gravel in it. It's got a regular shaped chat. Yep, you got uh, So there's no pea gravel in there. Sharper edges. Yeah, compacts better. Then this whole side of the yard is what we call staged material. So what happens is they pull it from inventory or we order it. And this, this is all jobs ready to go. So they load the trucks the night before out of this material. So the shop. Pulls it, gets it ready, puts it over here, stages it. They load it on trucks and away it goes. So just kind of a, a loop system. And then our stock docking, decking material we store over here. We are currently using Armadillo uh, composite decking. Online. It's funny, if you remember my video earlier in the year, I debated on even getting out of decks, if you remember this. Yeah. I had a and conversation about doing it. Doing a ton of them. And this year we're doing a record number of decks. So. You know, it was a conversation we had to have on how much resources it was eating up Either with our business. Either get serious about doing them or get out of it. That's what we had get to figure out. Get in 100% or get out. Get, get in 100% or get out. So we went with two two deck crews and, and uh, equipped them with what they needed. And the rest yep. is history. You want this one to go around? We call this our extra tool room. So key thing about our trucks is there's almost two of everything on the trucks but we'll keep extra hammer drills and circular saws and uh, DeWalt batteries boxes chargers just things that we go through uh, we don't want crews being down so we keep it in here uh, sawzall blades grinder blades you know everything we can buy on bulk chainsaw blades uh, nail guns air hose it's our tool room to keep you know we got the trucks get re uh, inventory weekly, and so if something breaks, it's get repaired. It's the war room. But this is the inventory list. So in case you're thinking about going and getting some tools about midnight tonight, just yeah. Know so you're that on tool camera. room we were just in is on video. You're on, you're on camera. You're on camera. And these so cameras, no shopping at midnight. <laughs> no shopping at midnight. But if you can see, that's this is one truck inventory. We talk about we're down to it's a big old serial list, numbers. Yeah. We're down to screwdrivers, Allen wrenches, everything. That's, that's one truck's inventory. Do you see your ace? Oh uh, yeah, the gloves are amazing. Those people right there. If you need fence signs, I see the time. Everybody all the time is asking about signs, and if you need fence signs, JC Gurry. Don't mess so with anybody else. JC Gurry. They just did the chrome signs. Nobody else. JC Gray, that's yep. it. They did those for us. Don't screw on with the other company that I won't even mention because they are not. JC has done a great job. Screw with the fence I'll, signs. I'll put a link in the bottom. Yep. I think if, if you need signs for any kind of work that you do, they, they this company here, jans. I know the farm fence uses those guys. Yeah, we do too. Awesome. We got all those plain jans. Yep. Yep, love the gloves. Amazing. Amazing gloves. Yep, yep. So this is a, a process. This are these jobs jackets here are staged. This looks similar to what I saw on the floor. Probably. Weird. Probably identical, huh? So the, the folders move actually from the left over here. Um, so when the materials are ordered or need to be ordered to go in here, if we're waiting for an order to come in, it goes here, it gets moved over. This this rack means materials here, but it needs to get pulled. And then that rack there. Where'd you get these from? Uh, Amazon. I need to probably get some of those and I need to probably steal this idea because that's something we fight is, hey, do we have all the stuff we need for that? Or do we have it? Is it pulled? Is it ready to go? Have location been called in? Yeah. 
Like, is it ready to go? And that's so you sh and you probably have that information in a file, yeah, but you can visually see it quickly when you, you walk into. We need to be able to pull it from one area. Okay, yeah. this is where it is in the stage. Once it's awarded, these so are awarded. We got to get things ordered. So different people have different, like you know, the office is the one putting the material, putting the folders in here. Um, once I order the material, I'm currently ordering, it goes over here. But then once the material shows up, my shop foreman or shop guys will pull it out of here, move it to this rack. Once it's in this rack, it means it's materials here. They have to pull it and build the, the job, right? Yeah. And put it in staging. Once it's over in staging, it's in this rack. This rack is where the job comes back. If there's an issue or callback or something, they have to go back out and readjust to get a blue sheet. And so this rack is of jobs that need attention. Something's not right. Gate needs adjusted. Or if it's a really, really small job, we put them in pink sheets. They don't even go through the workflow. You know, five hundred thousand dollar job. They don't even go through. So the, the red and the green and all that—that that so means all, something. Yeah, they're all color coded. So orange or red is vinyl fence. Okay. Yellow is wood fence. Green is aluminum fence. Uh, white is your decks. Purple is your chain link. Oh, well, so you put this. So when they, this is what we call a job packet. So it's you a put job the packet. fence sign in there and everything. It's like, hey, hang that. So we used to put the fence signs in the truck, and then they That's would get stuck underneath the truck seat. They would get trampled on. They get dirty. They get scratched. The guys might think about it. They might put them on. If we put one in every job folder, when they do the folder, it's in their face. When yeah. they get ready, to, we'll do the walkthrough. It reminds them to put it on. But inside the work folder, they have. The, a copy of the contract. We provide them a copy of the written contract, so all the details that they have. The checklist of every process that the job went through, as far mm -hmm. as did someone verify the address? Has the material been pulled? What's the man hours on the job? Is it right? Is there pictures of the job before we get out there? Mm -hmm. um, this is the inventory list, so the guys have to fill this out when they come back of anything that they used out of inventory. Okay. It gets checked with what they're supposed to use. This is the work order. So it tells them if there's any buried cables, if they need any special equipment, uh, if there's any special notes. Here's the pool list. It tells them what they're supposed to have on their truck. It should be loaded with a job. There should be two copies of the pool list. And then there's going to be your dig ticket. Your dig ticket tells you where it locates and your locate information. Not at all dissimilar from what we're doing. We just need to use the file, move the file system. Just move, move the file, whether or not it's physically move the file. Yep. We've got all this data. Tell a quick visual, you can know which jobs are ready to go and which ones still need something. So, for instance, out. this morning, the crews went out, we were loaded, ready to rock, that we had the world figured out, they got there this morning, and the yard uh, was all fresh dirt. We had six inches of rain over the weekend, so that's not gonna work. Obviously digging holes. So, the crew came back, and then quickly I had to figure out what do we have stage ready to rock and roll that can go today that's not in the mud yard. So and I, has locates. And has locates, and right, ready to roll. So I was able to quickly find, and within 30 minutes, we unloaded, reloaded the truck, and sent them out to another project. So that, that allowed me to quickly on the fly figure out what we can do next. Here's how we do it. Um, so same thing, colors mean something. So I'll show you. This is today. So everything is a crew who's on the crew. Uh, the color is orange, which is a vinyl fence. That's a, a deck, vinyl fence, vinyl fence, vinyl fence today. Tomorrow there's a aluminum fence. But it tells us when the job was sold, who the salesman was, when the IUPs were called in, whether they're gonna be good or they're bad. If it's an inventory item, the type of material, the area it's at, the, the size of the project, the dollar value of the project, and the man hours on the project are all on that sheet. So everything, everything matches for the lack of a better system. Yeah. And if there's not really a system out there that does all this for us. Yeah. Soon to be. And we see this over and over again from all the people that we've been to, but the most organized people seem to also be the most successful. I mean, without organization, that's all the way down to the yard, how they how their paperwork flow is, you right. know, having a good process, procedures, and would you say that's one of the that, keys? To that's that? key. That, I mean, we're talking about making a minor, the profit margins in most fence businesses are lucky if you're double digits. It's, it's, the you profit know, margins in most fence businesses lucky if are negative. Down. Yeah, well, there you go. That's probably true. But, <laughs> but what we're dealing with is we're dealing with just a few percentage points. So it's very easy to lose a couple percentage points by disorganized 
by being disorganized real quickly. So if that's if that's the margin of error, then we've got to pay attention to how we every every detail how, how organized we are. Um, there's not a whole lot of money in the fence business that I've seen. No one's making twenty and thirty percent net profits. And no sense about managing a good managing a good company. Workflow is important. Um, buying material properly and, and staying organized is definitely good important. process. Yeah, okay. processes. I think are the game changer between a successful company and one that's just going to work. It's a good team, I think. And we'll talk about team here in a little bit. Team for sure. I think teams. I like team members. Team, yeah. I don't like employees. <laughs> we don't have those. We don't have any employees. Here's, here's what teams look like. You see that? That's a team. Right. Nobody wants employees. No. No. That's that. Show up late. When is our next Leave early and still whether they're there. Nobody wants that.